non-negotiable, um, and it's to create some red lines um, on the Peruvian position to um, ensure that uh, both that uh, the TPP doesn't go beyond existing um, FTA obligations that um, they have that, the per that Peruvians have with the U.S. Um, as well as um, calling into question uh, the provisions that have already been signed um, into the Peruvian U.S. free trade agreement. So um, they created um, a, a Hitler video. That, it was a lot about memeing. So there was a Hitler video. I don't know if you know that meme, but yeah. um, there's a scene from um, Valkyrie uh, where they where you can change the subtitles of that of that section when Hitler finds out that he's losing um, the war. And they did one about TPP, um, and that was on Boing Boing, and they got a lot of pickup on the internet. Um, they did a, they did posters. We're working on um, cartoons and. Um, and we had a, there was a, a no negotiable protest yesterday in front of the TPP um, venue. Um, about 80 people showed up um, from, from um, all the various communities, the medicine community, uh, the environmentalists um, who are concerned about the investor state provision, and the copyright um, internet uh, folks were also there. Um, today, uh, we, uh, both my colleague and I, as well as Iper Derecho, um, which is also um, the, the Peruvian digital rights organization that is also on the Fair Deal Coalition, as well as Derechos Digitales, um, the, uh, the Chilean digital rights organization, um, also presented. And we all presented on uh, different facets of uh, the implications of um, the copyright provisions in the TPP. I spoke about. Uh, how, how unbalanced copyright prevents innovation and therefore impedes the economy. Um, and uh, and Derecho Digitalis talked about the human rights implications um, on the internet um, for overreaching copyright enforcement, primarily free speech uh, implications if you know online service providers and internet service providers are liable for their internet users, they are likely to um, overcompensate and be overcautious about enforcement and so their um, speech might be taken, uh, videos might be taken down, links may be taken down because they are afraid of being liable for uh, copyright suit by their users. Um, as well, uh, I've so, so, uh, uh, a uh, notice system, which means that um, they, uh, they require a judicial um, order to uh, have a content or a copyright owner know the identity of a, a copyright infringer, and so that doesn't, it's not privately enforced, and they also won't get cut off from the internet. But um, in the United States and in other countries, there are already existing obligations um, for um, private online service providers, internet service providers, to send notices to copyright infringers, and of course, um, New Zealand has a three strikes law, so. Um, that's a, a very different model there, but um, and so we presented on that. After afterwards at three o'clock today, there was the um, stakeholder briefing, which is where all the country delegates um, line up on the table in the front of the room and they sort of give an update on what is going on in the TPP negotiations. Usually they don't say anything except for uh, there is progress being made. <laughs> you know, very general comments such as that. Um, uh, a, a representative from a knowledge, knowledge Ecology International um, asked about how uh, TPP provisions would prevent national lawmakers from being able to enact uh, sound copyright laws and, and reform. Um, <laughs> and so, uh, so we asked some questions about copyright, but we ultimately did not get any clear answers. So. Um, uh, that's about it. <laughs> that's where we stand now. Thanks, Myra. That's uh, that's great stuff. Uh, Steve, if you're still there. Oh yes, I can see you moving now. Are you? Uh, uh, do you have a statement for the press? Yeah. Um, can you guys hear me? Okay. Yep. Okay. Um, I'm Steve Lee. I'm the co-founder of Open Media. Yep. Great. Um, sure. Um, so, o Open Media is a nonprofit uh, organization, really a network of organizations. Uh, and, and people. Um, we're based in Canada. We have uh, members 
uh, internationally as well, and we work to safeguard the possibilities of the open internet. So, so we work to defend in advance open and affordable access to the internet. And I guess I'll just talk a little bit about the situation in Canada here and, and why there are um, several uh, Canadian groups that have joined this uh, international coalition and, and what our concerns are for TPP. Um, basically, we just under a, a year ago now, um, you know, only a year ago, we passed our, our own uh, copyright legislation, um, Bill C-11, Canada's Copyright Modernization Act. Um, and that took 10 years of debate. Um, there were four versions of it. Um, and, you know, I, I think that the, the one reason that we're concerned about, uh, Bill, about the TPP is that um, we think that it's going to overwrite um, really what I think is, is a, a, a mostly balanced piece of legislation that we only put in place under a year ago. And I mean, the Bill C-11, um, it expands uh, fair dealing, uh, including a, a, a user generated content provision. Um, it, it has a balanced uh, approach to internet provider liability. There's a notice and notice infringement system, and there's a cap on damages for non-commercial infringement. Um, there are some concerns that in Canada with um, the uh, digital loss uh, provision. Um, I think many groups think that they're a little bit too restrictive, but that's something that we can work on. And the concerns that, that I think Canadians have um, it, is that uh, the TPP will move us in, in the wrong direction. And I mean, the reason it took 10 years of debate is because you know some of the same sorts of provisions that are in the TPP um, were put forward by, by some people um, uh, in Canada, but by the government in Canada, which includes the power to block websites and remove content, uh, increasing, uh, increasing liability for intermediaries, um, potential invasions of privacy. Those concerns were very much present during that debate, and that's why it took so long. And so I think that that's the, the concerns that we have here in Canada, is, is those same provisions being put in the CPP, and really, um, I think it's the same kind of um, lobbyists from, from, you know, old, old media organizations who are pushing it in the TPP that are pushing it in Canada. And so I think we really don't want our laws to be um, overwritten uh, by international agreement that's being negotiated in secret. 